Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you are having a fantastic weekend. So in today's video, I have a Bath & Body Works candle haul to share. It has been such a long time since I have done like a haul like this. It's also going to be a first sniff impressions because I actually have not stuck my nose into any of these candles. But yeah, it's it's been a really long time since I have um, made a purchase. It's kind of for a couple of reasons. I think the first is that like not a whole lot has really drawn me in. Um, but also the sales haven't been super great as of late. I'm someone who will only shop at Bath & Body Works if there is a good sale. My preferred sale price point is $12.95 and I have to have a, at least a 20% off coupon. I'm not willing to pay more than like 10 or $11 when it's all said and done per Bath & Body Works candle. Um, I do still have some burn issues uh, with some of the candles that I get, you know, just randomly one-offs here and there. So um, I'm just a little bit hesitant to spend any more than that. Even though they have a pretty good return policy, I don't, I don't like returning candles. Although I will say, I think going forward, if a candle burns really poorly, I might actually consider taking it back. Um, I would probably just do an exchange if they would allow it. I know they're getting a little bit stricter at certain stores with stuff like that, but honestly, I have never been one to abuse that system. In fact, as you guys are aware, if you've watched my videos for any length of time, I would rather just put my uh, ill-behaving candles into a candle crock and just extract at least the fragrance from them that way than to bother, you know, making a trip back to the store to return something. However, I also think, um, you know, it probably doesn't really give Bath & Body Works much feedback if I do that. So I don't know. If, if any of these candles don't work out, uh, I haven't like fully committed to taking them back quite yet because it is just so convenient to pop them into a candle crack. But that being said, I do think it's important to provide the company with feedback in terms of, hey, I'm returning this because one, either the wicks dudded out or two, it got sooty or three, it just didn't have any strength or throw. You know, if, if they have that option to return the candles, maybe I should take advantage of it, but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> What's your policy on that? Would you, are you one to return candles or do you just pop them in a crock? Let me know down below. Anyway, I decided to place an order online for in-store pickup on Super Bowl Sunday. We were hosting uh, a bunch of people at our house. I'm not into football. I was there for uh, the halftime show and, uh, you know, that Taylor Swift, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a football person, so I was mostly on my phone. And um, Bath and Body Works was by uh, was having a buy one get one free sale. It's a pretty decent sale, and I had that 20% off coupon. So popped a bunch of stuff into my cart, and then had it uh, set for pickup at one of my local stores. And then a couple days later, I went in. I put my little horse blinders on. Bath and Body Works is one of those stores where I can get into a lot of trouble in terms of picking up multiples of candles if I'm allowed to smell them first. So this is my new policy with Bath and Body Works is placing the order online for the things that I'm interested in, going in store and just walking straight to the register, giving them my order number and walking right back out. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to be far too tempted. So if, if you, like me, are just too tempted... <laughs> buy all of the smells in there and you're much more likely to spend more money, um, do it this way. It was, it was pretty easy to just go up to an associate and be like, Hey, I have an order to pick up. And they immediately, you know, looked at my order number on my phone, checked my ID and out I went with a giant bag of goodies. So we are going to go ahead and sniff through these candles. I literally, uh, I came home, I sat them down here in the living room. I have not stuck my nose in them. I did see Stella sniffing through these the other day and there were some things that she liked and some things that she didn't. Um, Stella is my uh, almost 12 year old daughter. She enjoys home fragrance just as much as I do. So um, I let her kind of play with these a little bit and she was like, oh, there's some weird stuff in there. So we'll see, we'll see what my thoughts are. 
But the entire reason for really placing this order is the number of people who were telling me that I had to get this. I think I probably received 50 messages <laughs> between Instagram DMs, um, YouTube comments, uh, even some emails. So some of you guys emailed me, <laughs> which is like amazing. Um, you know that I have a massive love of my beloved Scentsy almond croissant. Um, it's a wax melt that I fell in love with when it was released at Scentsy a few years ago. But then of course they discontinued it. Luckily I decided to pop it into my club. So I do have two bars that come to me every three months. Um, but Bath & Body Works came out with an almond croissant candle and so many of you were like, hey, you need to get this. You're gonna love it. It smells so similar to almond croissant. So I'm dying to see what my thoughts are on this. Um, but I wanna approach this in a true like first sniff impression so that you guys can see like kind of my immediate um, reactions. Uh, I tend to have a pretty expressive face, so it's not going to be hard to hide if I don't care for something. Um, I ended up getting, it looks like, uh, 10 candles in total because, again, it was buy one, get one free. Um, I did get two of the almond croissant because for the last one, I couldn't decide what else to grab. So I figured if this is good... Maybe I'll just have one backup of it. Um, I'm not in a place where I want a lot of backups from any candle company. I'm really working hard to whittle down my collection here. But that being said, if it is as good as you guys said that it was, then uh, obviously I would probably want another one. So there are a number of, there's a huge variety of fragrances in here. I feel like I focused a lot on kind of fruity, more summertime type scents, with this one being the only real clear, I think, gourmand that I have in this little lineup here. If you're new, I tend to favor gourmand candles, but I also enjoy fruity summer scents as well. So you guys, let's get into it. Um, I'll read the fragrance notes, and then I will take my first sniff, and then I'll tell you, I'll tell you if I like it or not. We shall see. These are all new to me. The only one that I'm not sure of if I have tried it before is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I don't think that I've tried this, but maybe I have something. The Waikiki sounds really familiar to me, but the fragrance notes didn't look super familiar. So we shall see. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that one next. Let's do it. Almond croissant, uh, toasted almonds, vanilla glaze, and flaky croissant. I need the flaky croissant to be there. I don't want this to just be a pure almond scent. So let's see if they did it. By the way, I do love the packaging. Um, I, I'm a big like floral and like botanical wallpaper person. <laughs> I wish I could wallpaper my whole house, but um, Craig has vetoed that <laughs> next house. We'll do it in the next house. But yeah, I just, I love the design on this jar. Like if this were a wallpaper, I would put it in my dining room. It's so pretty. All right, let's do it. Ooh, it's got the thick wicks. I hate these wicks. These are the giant um, like tree stump wicks. These usually dud out on me. So mm. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I know a lot of you love this, but I, knowing almond croissant from Scentsy and how authentic and real and beautiful that is, on cold sniff, this does not compare. Now, I am gonna light it up. I'm gonna review all these. We're gonna light them all up. We're gonna review them. But I really hope this transforms when it's burning because right now what I'm smelling is definitely almond extract for sure. I can see a vanilla glaze, but I'm not getting a flaky pastry and I'm smelling a lot of like fake plasticky type not goodness here. Um, it's not a really like 
authentic almond extract. It really smells plasticky to my nose on cold sniff. Please tell me this is going to transform. Um, oh, yeah. I'm sad I have two. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in this. Uh, it is, it's not, on cold sniff, it is not my Scentsy Almond Croissant. It just doesn't smell authentic. And it's missing the pastry. And that's a key component. It's a, it's a croissant candle. I mean, you need the almond like paste, like the almond paste in the middle of the almond croissant, but like this, it's just not there. Well, that's disappointing. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's hope I have better luck with the rest. I do appreciate all of you reaching out about that. And I was so hopeful, but that is not, that's not a Scentsy almond croissant. It's not. So unless she transforms into a beautiful almond pastry treat upon being lit, I see myself definitely returning the second one for sure. I don't know what I would exchange it for. Um, I wouldn't even bother lighting it up. I would just take it back to the store so that somebody else could enjoy it. They can put it back out on the floor, but... As of right now, I immediately want to take back the second one and exchange it for something else. So if you have a suggestion for anything else that I should maybe try uh, that I have not already picked up, leave it down below in the comments. But anyway, okay, let's, uh, we ha I, I kind of went ham on the coconut scents. So um, I love coconut. For me, my favorite types of coconut scents are definitely like the real, almost like edible coconut scents. Um, but I also love a good, um, you know, like coconut sun sunscreen type scent as well, or like a musky coconut. So this is a vanilla coconut surf and our notes here are sweet vanilla, coconut waves and beech wood. So I'm expecting like some salty ocean air here, some, some beachy coconut vibes maybe more along the lines of like a suntan type lotion versus like an edible coconut but let's see oh and i like these wicks these are better wicks these are the thin wicks uh these burn much better for me okay i do like this it's very musky i'm definitely getting some salty vibes from this for sure it's a musky coconut it's really nice like this would be a lovely either laundry room type scent or a bedroom type fragrance I like this oh, we have a winner here <laughs> first one not so great but this one I think that I'm really gonna enjoy burning this um yeah I like this this is this is giving me major summertime vibes and even though i'm not naturally a summertime person um this almost makes me excited about summer almost i'm still gonna prefer winter <laughs> but i really like this and if you like musky beachy coconut scents you should definitely check this out for sure all right what else is in this crate okay this one here um Honestly, I picked this because of the colors on the label. So these, these are lilies, like stargazer type lilies. Um, listen, I was a florist for over 10 years and one of my least favorite flowers to actually work with was these types of lilies. I mainly use them in funeral orders, not so much in wedding orders. To me, these smell like funeral flowers. I'm really hoping that this does not smell like any type of lily fragrance, but we'll see. But I did love the colors here. So look at these vibrant, gorgeous shades. I mean, they are a pretty flower, but I tell you what, if you get the pollen from these little stamens on you, you are it's gonna stain. <laughs> They're a nightmare to work with as a florist. Um, and yeah, they just, they really remind me of funerals. But anyway, let's give it the old college smell here. Tropicadelic. Tropi tropidelic. Why can I not? Tropidelic. Yeah, that's, this isn't hard. I can read, I promise. All right. Um, irresistible passion flower. Ylang Ylang and Misty Rainforest. 
Um, I'm excited about this passion flower. I love passion flower. I do enjoy Ylang Ylang. Yi -Yi I find that to be a very soothing type of fragrance. Um, I'm a little nervous about the Misty Rainforest. I'm not big on like dewy greens and things like that, but we shall see. Let's see how I feel about it. Ooh, we have Tree Simpwicks again. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, there's a, <laughs> there's a definite dewy rainforest in here, that's for sure. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't love it, but I do actually kind of like it. I do like it. I wonder what this is going to smell like when it's burning. I kind of feel like this could potentially be a little headache inducing for me, but maybe if it's a little bit on the more like medium end of the strength and throw spectrum, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. But if this is super strong, then that's going to be hard for me because I think it's this like green, um, like green wet type note that's, that's gonna kind of throw me off with this one potentially but I do like the floral component in here and I do like that ylang ylang it is very soothing um almost a little bit like a floral musk in a way the, you know what the more I smell it the more it's kind of growing on me yeah it's growing on me it's not bad I wish it didn't have these I just hate these wicks I honestly, I know anytime that I see these thick tree stump wicks at the halfway point, I'm going to have to put it in a crock because these just dud out on me every single time. I don't think there is a time where these have not dudded out on me and these have been in some of my favorite fragrances and that's a huge bummer. But again, I've usually just popped them into a candle crock, but I wish I didn't have to do that. That's the thing. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, more coconut, coconut sandalwood. <laughs> this one kind of really spoke to me with the description. So coconut palms, luxurious sandalwood, and warm musk. First of all, I love musk. I love sandalwood. And again, we have coconut here. So let's see what, let's see what we get. Okay, we're getting good wicks. We've got skinny wicks. We're good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. This smells like a body spray or like a perfume that I would love to wear during the summertime. It's really musky. Definite like coconut vibes. I really hope you can't hear my phone ringing in the background. It's totally going off right now, but um, I do have voicemail, so we're gonna, we're gonna let it go to voicemail. Ah, oh, I like this. This one is really nice. But listen, you're gonna have to like a musky vibe to get into this one, I feel like. But I really enjoy this. I cannot wait to light this one up. Okay, I'm excited. We, we started kind of eh, but it looks like we were on the up. Okay, we have, we have a fruity one. Okay, the wild berry and ube. I was really curious about this one. Um, I tend to really like these wild berry type fragrances uh, from Bath & Body Works, so I figured this was like a pretty safe bet here. So fresh wild berries, purple ube, and creamy vanilla. Ube is, um, uh, I believe I actually ate ube. It is a like a purple tuber, like a, I think it's like a potato type plant almost, or like, not plant, uh, like vegetable, it's a vegetable. Um, I think I had ube when I was in Hawaii. Um, I've seen ube ice cream, so uh, it's a very interesting flavor. So I'm really curious to sniff this one out. I really hope we don't have tree stump wicks here. And we do, great. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like this. This is an immediate like yes for me. I love their wild berry concoctions. This definitely has like the raspberry, maybe blueberry, blackberry kind of mix. I'm not sure that I like remember what like ube on its own smells like, but this is very sweet. Um, it's a very sweet scent. It's most, I feel like the focus here is really just on that wild berry and the creamy vanilla. Yeah. Oh, I really like this. This is probably, this would probably be considered one of those like really basic type of scents, but I am super excited to burn this. 
This is one where I could see myself repurchasing it. Um, I, by the way, I do have a dog in my lap. That's the snoring that you're hearing right now. Um, yeah, he's, it's my dog, Alf. If, if you're not new here, you know who Alf is, but he is taking a nap. Uh, he's a pug, so um, yeah, please enjoy the free pug ASMR. So, all right, this next one. I love mango. Um, so this is the sweet red mango. I don't think that I've ever tried this before. It didn't sound familiar. Um, this has two of my favorite uh, fruity scents, which is mango and peach, but then it also has pineapple, pineapple juice. I'm not a big fan of pineapple. I find that pineapple smells really artificial to my nose and a lot of home fragrance. I don't love it. In fact, usually when I see pineapple as like the primary note, it's an automatic like, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on that. But I figured since there was peach and mango in here that maybe, just maybe, the, the focus would be more so on those other two notes versus the pineapple. So let's see. Uh, please, Skinny Wicks. Skinny Wicks! We got Skinny Wicks. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's fine. <laughs> pineapple is there. Yeah, I can smell it in the background for sure. But there, this smells more like mango and peach. Really authentic, actually. Very juicy, very sweet. This is a very sweet scent. I would say if you tend to find sweet scents cloying, I could see where this one could be cloying to certain people. You probably wouldn't like this. This is intensely sweet on cold sniff. It's actually making me wonder what, how sweet it could potentially get when it's lit. Sweeter scents, I think, almost amplify in sweetness when you're burning them. Oh, man. Oh, there's my other dog. Oh, maybe you guys will get two pugs snoring today. We should all be so lucky. <laughs> anyway, um, I like that. Uh, I ooh, That is one where I would love to have that probably during the month of July and August when it's really hot out. That sounds delightful. Are you asking me for dinner? Yeah, lady, it's not going to happen right now, but I appreciate you uh, reaching out. <laughs> okay, Tiki Beach. Listen, Tiki Beach has been around, I feel like, for a long time, but I've never tried it. I have always avoided it. I don't know why, but also my fragrance tastes have changed a lot over the years. So, um, yeah, let's, let's see. We have warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. As soon as I saw the coconut, I was like, mm, I think this is worth seeking out. I seriously don't think that I've ever even stuck my nose in this. I like the like bamboo finish on this lid though. That's, that's cute. All right, let's do it. Please be thin wicks. We have thin wicks, we're good. Oh, I actually like this. Why have I avoided it? musky coconut again kind of the same coconut that i gotta get it out again as the vanilla coconut surf these are not the same scent but i feel like these use the same coconut base Ooh, this is nice why have i avoided this dang that's really good definite like floral note in here very very distinct floral as well. And then the vanilla musk, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not just like a general muskiness, it's definitely a vanilla musk for sure. Healthy dose of vanilla here, but this is lovely. It kind of smells a little bit like a, like suntan lotion in a way. Man, of this oh I can't wait to light this up this is another one that I think maybe during like July and August would be the perfect summertime scent I feel kind of weird burning these like super beachy scents uh in what's probably going to be like February and March um I plan on doing post burn reviews of all of these but I don't know maybe I, I feel like these types of scents are available all throughout the summer so if I like them I can always go back and grab another one if I want to but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I do like the label on here. Kind of reminds me of like a Miami Vice vibe, doesn't it? Total like Miami Beach vibes here. All right, we've got a few more. 
Okay, I'm really excited about this one. This is their new Calypso Clementine, Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. I'm hoping that I do not smell any Coastal Woods, and I'm actually hoping that I do not get any Neroli Nectar here. I hope this is just pure Juicy Clementine. That might be uh, expecting a bit much from this, but oh, let's do it. Oh, we have Thick Wicks again. Mmm, I like it. I like what I'm smelling here. There's some Neroli for sure. It's not 100% Juicy Clementine, but I'm not getting any type of like coastal woods. There's nothing woody about this sandalwood, driftwood, or otherwise that is coming across in any kind of way. Buddy, why are you licking the carpet? Don't do that. Thank you. Ooh, that's a juicy clementine it's a very sweet juicy clementine with a slight perfuminess to this i have this uh perfume from i think it's atelier cologne called what is it orange sanguine does that sound right this is very much clementine but i feel like this smells kind of fam like similar to that perfume i'm gonna have to go upstairs and compare the two after this video but I like this a lot. In fact, I would say that I love this. I still wish that Neroli wasn't there. I can definitely detect it, but it does make it a little bit more unique and interesting. But I would give, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't give up like a toe or a finger or anything for Bath and Body Works. But if they could come out with a pure Clementine scent, um, I would really appreciate that. <laughs> That is lovely. Have you burned this? If you have burned this, please let me know how it does for you. Does does the Neroli amp up? Do the Coastal Woods come out? I hope not, but dang, this is delightful. We have, let's see, how many more do we have? Oh gosh, there's just one more. Yeah, that's right, because I bought two of the almond croissant. I'll take the second one back. Okay, Waikiki Beach Coconut, again, we are here for the coconut on my channel right now. Um, if you hate coconut, I'm so sorry. It's a lot of what you're gonna be seeing here. Okay, tropical white coconut, uh, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. Man, a lot of these sound really familiar, don't they? All right, mm, thick wicks, we've got thick wicks. Ooh, okay, this is, this is slightly fruity coconut but also musky at the same time. Man, a lot of these coconut scents are really musky. I don't mind that, but I don't have a pure coconut yet. I, I want an edible, if any of you know of like a pure edible coconut, please let me know. How have I been talking for almost 28 minutes? I promise I'm wrapping it up. This is really nice. I love that. There's definitely also some beachy vibes to this. There's that like salty ocean air mixed in with the coconut. But again, I'm not getting any type of like wood type note. Maybe, maybe that'll be there when I'm burning it. But I, but I do enjoy this on cold sniff. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I feel like it did pretty well. Honestly, the only one that I don't really care for happens to be the one that I thought I was gonna love the most, but such is life. Um, I'm still gonna light this one up. It'll be the first one that I do a review on, so I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. Reviews, uh, post-burn reviews will definitely be coming over the next week or so. I am someone who does like to burn these candles at least three to four burns prior to reviewing them. I prefer to get to the halfway point, so um, yeah, it'll be a little while until you see the post-burn reviews, but I definitely wanted to give you guys at least some um, first sniff impressions here. So I'm very excited to see how these go. Um, let me know if you have any feedback at all. Let me know if there's something that I missed that I maybe should have really picked up. Um, yeah, you guys know what I like. So give me your suggestions down below. I appreciate you being here. I hope this video was entertaining. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.